So hey everyone welcome back to placements ready in this video we will be solving the problem lucky numbers which is an interesting problem to solve so let's read the problem statement so lucky numbers are a subset of integers rather than going into much theory let us see the process of arriving at lucky numbers so let's say these are the set of integers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 first delete every second number we get the following reduced set okay so if 2 4 6 8 10 are deleted we get this 1 3 5 7 9 now delete every third number we get 1 3 7 9 continue this process indefinitely any number that does not get deleted due to ever process it's called lucky so we are given a number n we need to tell whether the number is lucky or not if the number is lucky return 1 otherwise 0 so for example we are given 5 so you can see after that deletion of every third number we are not having any 5 here so 5 is not a lucky number so we will output 0 similarly for 19 it is going to be a lucky number why because it exists in our set after the deletion okay so let's understand this problem in more detail so let's say these are my numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 So if we delete every second number, we get 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19. Do watch the video till the end, then only you can understand the pattern in more depth. So now if we delete every third number, like 5 will be deleted, 11 will be deleted. 17 will be deleted so we will get 1 3 7 9 13 15 and 19 if we delete every fourth number okay 9 will be deleted and any number after 19 will be deleted so every time you can see our set gets reduced by let's say this is having a size n okay and we were Con taking into consideration i equal to 2 so we were deleting every second number so now my set is going to be reduced by nothing but n by i so the size of this set is going to be n minus n by i similarly the size of this set will be reduced by this by n minus n by i so uh, we will be using this implementation and we can solve our problem so let's see how can we implement so simply we will be iterating using a for loop so we can start our iteration from i equal to 2 i less than n i plus plus we will check if n is divisible by i okay so in this case 2 was divisible by 2 4 was divisible 6 was divisible 8 was divisible so we can check if n is divisible by i we can simply return a false okay and every time my n is going to be reduced by n by i correct and in the end if we are not able to get this we can return a true so in this way we can solve our problem and I hope you have understood that so in every iteration we are gonna reduce the size of n by nothing but n by i okay so that's why we are doing this so we need to update this n right so that's why we are uh, doing this step and then we can return a true so let's discuss the implementation so here what we can do we can run a for loop for int i equal to 2 i less than equal to n i plus plus if n is divisible by i we can simply return a false otherwise we can reduce the size of n by n by i because that much elements will be eliminated every in every iteration and in the end we can simply return a true so i hope you have understood the solution if you have any doubts write it down in the comments like this video if you have understood and share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more such videos so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching